dark comedies. Um, yes. Specifically, one of my favorite dark comedies, Heather's, uh, which was uh, arguably a comedy. Um, yeah. But it is it is funny as hell. Um, yeah. and, and you can't make that movie today. Like, that movie would never in a million years be made today. Why can't you? Why can't you make? I it think today? there's a lot of PC stuff that wouldn't get through. Like, I mean, like when I saw Blazing, just just, I, just killing, just killing uh, uh, high the, schoolers. The school, you know, the school killings with the gun in the school. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that just wouldn't fly yeah. today. Um, well, like when I saw Blazing Saddles for the first time, I was like, well, this, there's never, there's no way in hell that movie could be made today. Like, it just, it's just not gonna happen. And I saw this years ago, but even then. Uh, and then Borat showed up. I was like, well, okay, apparently everything's yeah. out the door. <laughs> um, but, but with Heather specifically, that film, um, which is a, it's a, it's a, it's a genius piece of work, in my opinion. How, what are tips that you could give writers on how to write good dark comedies? Because again, I haven't seen a lot of good dark comedies lately either. I mean, when was the last good dark comedy you saw? Hmm. Um, it's hmm. a rarity in the genre now. Uh, I'm guessing uh, I'm thinking about things like Wag the Dog. Uh, yeah, that's still twenty years, uh, twenty five years ago. Yeah, yeah Doctor Strange Love. Of course. Um, I, I think I think the 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 key. I mean, listen, Breaking Bad is a dark comedy. <laughs> In so many ways, it is. It was Mad, so brilliant. Mad Men is a dark comedy. And TV, um, in TV, there is more of these examples. The, the Sopranos is a dark comedy. <laughs> uh, I, I, I think, I think the, uh, besides the fact that, that, you know, it's one thing to make a, a television episode, um, for, uh, $2.3 million. And it's another thing to make, uh, a movie for 40 to $200 million. Mm. Uh, but I think the, the thing you have to do is you have to know what, who you're making fun of and what you're making fun of. Mm. And you have to punch up. Don't punch down. That's why Heather's was so smart. It punched so up above the, the, the genre of high school. Right. Comedy. Well, it's, it's also, it's also, you're there. You're, you're not making, listen, we're all living in a dark comedy, aren't we? Oh God, we're, all, <laughs> we're all whistling. No, but not just today's political situation. Sure. We're all whistling past the graveyard. That's what all. That's what all black comedy is. Oh, um, I guess this is also twenty years ago. Uh, uh, a fish called Wanda is kind of a dark comedy. Kind of a dark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and and what it all comes down to is, as we're whistling past the graveyard, we're trying to make fun of the things that terrify us. Mm. So. To me, the the way to make a dark comedy is to focus on how the people are coping with it. How are they coping with it? Because in in, in a metaphorical sense, we're all struggling in a dark comedy, and and the the end of all our dark comedies is not too funny. Mm. You know, none of us, as they say, none of us get out of this alive. <laughs> so, Very or. True. or or as Clint Eastwood says in The Unforgiven, you know, um, we all get what's coming to us. Yeah. Uh, so, so, so the the idea is that you're you're not pretending when you say that there's death and dismemberment out there waiting for you. How are you? How do people deal with that? How do they react to that? What happens to the living people as they grapple with these? Uh, issues of of death and destruction and extinction, uh, so that so that if you're if you're making a dark comedy, honestly, you're just finding what's ridiculous and absurd in in what in what we're doing to to deal with the fact that we're living you know we're on this uh, blue cinder spinning through a void. We don't know where we came from. We don't know where we're going to, and yet. We're going to wake up tomorrow and have frozen yogurt because frozen yogurt at least will make it a little bit better. You know, we are the only creature on the planet that knows that we will not be here eventually. Right. And what do we do based on that? Do we all sit home weeping softly, no. writing haiku? No. no. 
we wake up and we say Thai, Thai food. Thai, I think th- that'll do it today. I think Thai. That'll do it. Yeah, <laughs> thai, or, thai or or like uh, dark chocolate. Dark chocolate, of course. Dark uh, chocolate. 80%. Starbucks. Starbucks. Uh, every day I'm Starbucks. Gonna, I'm going to spend 325 because Starbucks will make my eventual descent into death and 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 entropy. It'll make it a little bit more worthwhile. <laughs> That's